Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick here. What's new at Universal Studios Florida? I don't know. Let's go find out together. I don't know why, but the Universal Globe there hasn't spun in weeks. I wonder why. I really don't know. They have removed the fencing that once surrounded the globe, but forget the movie The Day the Earth Stood Still. It's the month that the Earth stood still now. This is the Tuesday after Columbus Day, and I've heard from multiple people already that the crowd levels are still elevated today. So right off the bat, I want to share with you the wait time for Minion Mayhem is 60 minutes and the wait time for Minion Blast is 50 minutes. Usually in these update videos, I do the food review at the end. I'm going to try to move it up for this one, do it a little sooner. Over here at the New York Public Library, they've added these construction walls. The main facade of the library has been re-wallpapered. They still have that temporary fencing there. I don't know if they're going to do the tippy top of this structure. See the skyscrapers up there? I'm wondering if those are going to be repapered. Doesn't look like it. I told you guys we were going to do a food review early in this video. Let's step on into Finnegan's and have our lunch. Yes. Looks like we found the chair at the bar. Let's have a seat and order our lunch. This is the Newcastle Irish Chicken for $22.95. Herb soda bread and Dubliner cheese coated chicken breast. Mashed potatoes, corn and tomato succotash, and creamy apple butter. This quick food review brought to you by the Mummy Coffee Company. It's the coffee you've been waiting for. Link in the description box. The Newcastle Irish Chicken at Finnegan's, wow phenomenal though I do have one or two little critiques uh, let's start with the mashed potatoes creamy and delicious I could eat those over and over again the succotash I enjoyed a lot other than the tomato bits that's one little critique but that's just me not a fan of tomatoes the chicken though the chicken was amazing the crust that breading that they use the herb soda bread and the Dubliner cheese that makes for a fantastic crust I have never had a breading like that before on a chicken other than that chicken there the Irish chicken at Finnegan is delicious I can't you know what happened was as I ate my chicken some of the crust fell off and when I was done with the entire chicken I could see the some of the crust sitting on the plate I scooped it up and ate that too that's how much I enjoyed the crust and I recommend the Newcastle Irish chicken there. My one other little critique, the gravy there, that's an apple butter gravy. Not to my taste, not to my liking. It's, a, it's kind of a sweet gravy and being a southern boy, it's unlike any other gravy I've ever had. So it did not suit my palate, but some of you may enjoy that sweeter apple butter gravy. But overall, uh, between the succotash, the mashed potatoes, and that chicken with the phenomenal breading. You know what, I'll tell you a secret. That's the second time I've had it this week. I had it once before uh, when I wasn't doing a video. I liked it so much that I thought I had to include it in this video. What, I cannot give it a higher endorsement. And do my ears deceive me? Do I hear Marilyn and the Diamond Bellas? Let's see if we can catch some of the show. the tail end of it we'll have to be happy with that but what we cannot be happy with the mummy roller coaster it's delayed at the moment well even though at the moment people cannot ride the mummy they can at least shop inside of Sahara traders for some mummy merchandise here's a glow-in-the-dark revenge of the mummy t-shirt $23 this Revenge of the Mummy t-shirt is, I should have checked the price ahead of time, $27. Mummy mugs, $16.
So there's the inside. Well, there's one side and there is the other side. They do sell some shorts in here. A khaki pair, a black pair, $40 each. I suppose if the ride was a little bit too much for you and you messed up the shorts you're wearing, you might need to get these as a replacement. Just saying, just saying. $27 for this Revenge of the Mummy t-shirt. This one here for $33, my favorite uh, baseball style. I love the color combination of this. I love kind of the creamy white, a little off-white. I love the blue and then the red and the gold. Or more like a dark, dark red or a burgundy and the gold. My favorite Revenge of the Mummy shirt. There's also a Revenge of the Mummy press penny machine here. One dollar each. Here's your four designs. Give you a moment to look at those. Collect all those four different styles for you to choose from. Get all four. Oh, and I would like to point out, this is one of those fun crank style machines. Way more fun than the automatic ones. From the Mummy gift shop, we can access the arcade. Let's see if there's any prizes that interest us. This claw game has characters from Jaws. The one next to it, characters from E.T. And the one behind, classic Universal Monsters. Or you can just play some video games. Here's the New York City Latin dance party I never show because of copyrighted music. Maybe I'll slip in my own to cover up the copyrighted stuff. In the San Francisco area of the park now, I'm hearing more and more about Lombard's testing new food. So we are keeping our ear to the ground. When that happens, I will go in there and I'll try some of the new menu items. Don't know a time frame for it, but they have been testing it. I love seafood, so I hope it's something good. The best way to tell if the crowds are elevated today is go inside of Diagon Alley and check the wait time for Gringotts. And a 95 minute standby wait tells me yes, the crowds are elevated. This growl is telling me something too. In the Islands of Adventure update video, I showed you the Fall 2023 Collector's Wand. It's also available for purchase at Ollivander's here in Diagon Alley. There it is. It is interactive and it is $75. Just as a point of reference, that Collector's Wand is about $12 more expensive than the other wands that are sold there. No new treats and sugar plums, but I feel like I feel like we need a new treat or a new bakery item in there. Maybe we'll get something new at Christmas time. I'm recording this on a Tuesday, so no Halloween Horror Nights today or tonight. That does not occur on Mondays or Tuesdays. Nice to see that Krusty's scratched cornea or scratched pupil has been repaired. Though now, I feel like his nose could be a little more red. When it comes to Bumblebee Man's tacos, now that's the line I'm used to seeing. Yet another sign of elevated crowds today. People extending that three-day weekend created by Columbus Day, making it a four-day weekend. Kudos to you. I like the thought. Don't stop there. Go for five. But look at this. I think the line for turkey legs longer than the one for tacos. Let's check in on DreamWorks Land. Should be opening in 2024. Shrek's Home coming along. And the Troller Coaster looking yellow and green. There's one thing I want to show you inside of the ET Toy Closet. 
black and blue ET socks for $17. And look at this. They have astronaut food for $5.50. Neapolitan ice cream sandwich right there. A lot of meeting and greeting going on. Madagascar characters over there. And over here, the juice is loose. Beetlejuice. Let's pop inside the five and dime. For $45, here's a wanna play outfit I haven't seen before. A, a child's play, a Chucky outfit. Kind of looks like overalls. Oh, there's something on the back. I'm your friend till the end. Eh, that's appropriate, it's on the butt. The next Halloween Horror Nights weekly magnet release is Wednesday the 11th. It's gonna be an exorcist magnet. $14 each for the HHN magnets. Behind glass in the five and dime, check this out. We've got Jack, let me try to get the, there we go. You can see it better now. Jack for $250. And the other side of the glass display, we have some new stuff. We have a President Loki for $535. Sorry for the glare. Another Loki over here for $520. You've got a Falcon and Winter Soldier. $675 for that. This Hulk down here for $60. Yeah. That's more in my budget. Over here at the Bates Motel Psycho Shelf, I have seen all of this stuff except for this t-shirt. I don't recall seeing this t-shirt for $22. You say psycho, like it's a bad thing. But I've said this many times, I would love to do my guest bathroom as a Bates Motel. Well, it looks like Universal Studios Florida, a little light on updates for this week at least. It varies from week to week. But as always, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Exit through the description box. I've got some cool links for you. Go check them out. His name is Rick. Her name is Nikki. Showing how theme parks are done. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Hit subscribe.